In order to access Hike Vision devices via a web browser, you have to use a compatible web browser, you have to install the plugin, and you have to allow the plugin to run. Here you can see a list of compatible browsers. Now Firefox and Chrome used to work, but they stopped supporting plugins. Now for Windows, Internet Explorer is the only browser that still supports plugins, and it is still included with Windows 10. However, it is not the default browser in Windows 10. Microsoft Edge is the default browser, which is a new browser for Microsoft, but it does not explore and it does not support plugins. Now, you can just, uh, you know, if you're a Chrome user, you like to use Chrome, you could just open up Internet Explorer and use it to access the devices, but then it's a little bit of a hassle because you have to work with two different browsers and switch between them. Now, to make your life easier, you can install and configure something called IE tab within the Chrome browser so that when you go to any IP address or Hike Vision device, it automatically opens up an IE tab within Chrome. And what that's doing is running Internet Explorer within Chrome, but it makes it very easy for you so you don't have to switch between browsers. That way you can keep using Chrome and any links you click on for a Hike Vision device or any address you enter for a Hike Vision device or any other, you can work with other devices as well. They automatically open within Chrome. Now this does require that you are on Windows with Internet Explorer installed in order for IE tab to work. So what you do is go to Google and search for IE tab and make sure you're in the Chrome browser as I am. Now this first link is the IE tab in the Chrome Web Store. Click that. And then you'll want to add to Chrome. Now I've already added it to Chrome, so you can see it says add, added to Chrome. And it's really simple. All you do is click that, it installs, and then it'll show up as an icon right here in the top right. <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do is configure it. So we right click on the icon select options. Now these, uh, these options are all the default options. So we want to make sure it has auto URLs enabled. And then you can enter some auto URLs. So if you go to any, if you're using HIDDNS to access your devices, which is uh, www.hike-online.com you can enter this auto URL. See, I put a slash asterisk or star, and that's a wildcard. So any domain that I put after that slash is going to match this auto URL, and the uh, web page is going to be automatically opened in IE tab. Now, if I'm using Hike Connect, the Hike Connect platform, I can enter this one as well. And then if I want it to open an IE tab whenever I enter an IP address, say I'm accessing an NVR or camera on the local network or even over the internet, I enter the IP address, it'll automatically open in Internet Explorer. <clears throat> and continue farther down to the IE compatibility mode, you can select which compatibility mode the IE tab runs in. So I've selected IE 11 standard edge mode seems to be working fine for me. So now I'll show you an example. If I go to an IP address, I'll go to an online demo site from Hike Vision, one of their uh, online NVRs, it automatically opens an IE tab. You see the second URL bar right below the top URL bar and it has the IE tab icon. That's how you know you're running an IE tab. I'll show you that it works by logging in. And I can play camera. So it's all working. Now if I go to any some other address, say I go back to google.com, it's going to automatically take me back into the regular Chrome so now if I enter an HIDDNS domain URL, you can see it automatically opens it in IE tab. It'll do the same thing with the Hike Connect. Another added benefit is that the capture and record functions 
will actually work. I'll show you down here. So I'm playing the video and I press the capture button. It pops up the link to the saved file. I click that, it opens up the location and you can see the file is actually there. Now, if you were running Internet Explorer, that actually wouldn't work unless you ran Internet Explorer as admin, not just logged in as admin. You have to right click on Internet Explorer and select run as admin. So this eliminates that hassle. You can see I can also do the record button, start recording, wait a few seconds and stop recording to create a video clip, give me the link. And you can see there's my video file. So this makes life much easier when trying to access and use Hikvision devices in the web browser. And that's it. Have fun with it.